Babylon. Uh, Chino, do you know that song? Well, on in a day or two. Hey. Suddenly, let's wake just say, up, everybody. I'm like a, I'm like a comic book. WWB2 coming at you. That is Jeff Keesling with Take On Me. The best video of the 80s. It was pretty good. Most parodied video of all time. It was a good video. It was a good video. Videos used to mean something. Oh, no. It's it's just. Oh, well, it's YouTube videos. <laughs> so I guess it's the same thing. But when we were driving home from Houston, there was someone making a video. Down the like road. a music video? I guess. Because there was a truck with two kids sitting in the back with a camera. You know, like yeah. on a. Um, do you know what are those things called? Stabilizer, but a gimbal. And um, there was a, like a black Maserati, something nice and clean behind it with the guy. And they were going around a corner. I was like, I wanted to get in and put my car in there. That's how we, that's how I'm we, in the video. That's how we film one by two. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> this truck just doesn't go very fast. No, like it's really one. slow. <laughs> yeah. My, actually, my hair is going in the wind pretty hard right now. I think we went too fast once, and that's what happened. Like, <laughs> and that's what I wore a hat, so I got saved. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. <laughs> so, well, anyway, yeah, what's hey, up? welcome back. Uh, win by two here, coming at you live via recording. Uh, yeah, not a not a whole lot going on. We're getting geared up for qualifier season, and um, yeah. had some events this weekend. 18's wrapped up this weekend. Um, Hopefully we'll get back to posting these on Thursdays so that you won't hear about them a week after the fact. But uh, you know, let's do a slow glare yeah. at Chino. We like to do our segment now called "What Did Chino Decide to Eat Today?" Well, and uh, yeah, it's pretty new. We did the uh, Funyuns and what was that lime Red Bull last time? Kiwi straw, ki- kiwi, kiwi apple. apple. Yeah, and it was you couldn't see it because of the green screen, but you it, it kind of <laughs> today. Uh, our producer Chino uh, came in with. I haven't seen this. A oh, I see circus size bag of Barnum and Bailey animal crackers that looked like something you'd find in a survival shelter. Let me see, Chino. Yeah, let's get here. Let's, let's Can you it. carry that with oh, both yeah. hands? Oh, yeah. Like, Was it full when you I, got here? Yeah, no, full. So that's what, what he's been eating. Chino, you know who else eats, eats these? Connor. Yeah, little children. <laughs> little children, sir. He wants a snack. We give him an animal cracker. Yeah, and animal cracker. You're eating baby food for lunch. And today... We're going to go with Tangerine Red Bull. This is what Chino's eating today. They need to stop calling it Red Bull. It's, that's Tangerine Bull. I don't, yeah. I mean, they're doing okay. I'm not going to hate on their marketing scheme. I like the bull. Yeah. Do they, do, they do cool stuff with airplanes. The orange edis- edition. It, it, Chino, it says artificially flavored. It's not even real tangerine. Oh, no. It's battery acid for sure. But you like it. Ooh, no. No. I don't Ooh. like it. <laughs> Dude, my body would shut down if I put that inside of it. My wife's car wouldn't start the other day because her battery cable was corroded, so I poured a little. Poured some Red Bull on it. Red Bull on it, and that thing started up like a gym. Hold on. Those animal crackers weren't terrible. I'm not gonna lie to you. Eh, I like the ones with the frosting, the pink frosting. Oh, really? No. Yeah. Cookies not, with frosting is a bad idea. I'm not Ooh. a huge fan of this cardboard. I don't the know how eats them. Bleh. But he loves them. He loves them. So yeah. Chino, what in the world are you eating? Yeah, check out for new that segment. segment. Yep, it's coming soon. <laughs> Just kidding, Chino. Um, yeah, so yeah, we had a uh, we were in Houston this okay. weekend for the we'll 18s. Too much of anything is not good for you, baby. Qualifier. Some of us were. Yeah, Chino and I. Yep. were there. It was not a great tournament. <laughs> no. 
Premiere did not have a great showing. No, we did not. And shout out to Waddle Dob. Yeah, we talked to Waddle Dob. We got the scoop. Uh huh. Waddle Dob. So what is, is a Waddle Dob? It's an what do you say? Native American. Mm-hmm. It's a Native American phrase, and it is when things are woven to get. And he was demonstrating this when things are woven together, they become stronger. Right. And that's what Waddle Dob is. Is it each of the individuals? come together to make a stronger unit stronger woven stuff volleyball club is not as cool no i think it's already taken too. yeah and waddle dub that's not bad so hey shout yeah. out he shout did out say he did say it sucks trying to explain it to everybody every time with yeah his, with his uh creole cajun accent oh that nice. the old there yeah. you know we're talking together you know what they're strong with you know yeah you know, get the pig on here yeah. And anybody did won't say it for Cornbread. What did uh what did, did what did Waddle Dob do, Chino? What was the most unique thing you saw Waddle Dob do? No? Wait. <laughs> we'll get to that. Every team had at least one injury. Every team. Every team I watched had at least one injury. No. Yeah, well. No, ding dong. Wasn't this the people that were laying down and serve receive? Oh, that is pretty funny. Yeah. Wait, what? They were beating us so bad. They decided to just lay down. And I have no idea. Were they playing us? No, they were playing another team. Oh, okay, good. Because I was I was, they, I was about to get sad. But um, yeah. they were playing another team, apparently. Laid down on the floor in, you know, prone, push-up position. And as soon as the ball was contacted, they popped jumped up. jumped up and passed. I think Waddle Dog could be stand, also stand for what are you doing, <laughs> dog? <laughs> what are you doing, dog? Well, maybe that's what they're trying to say. Maybe he's lying about the Native maybe, American. Maybe, but they were interesting, and they were a team. Like I said, there were injuries. They were a team that their setter was hurt, so they had to put the backup in. Right, and then the backup got hurt, so they had to have an outside hitter set. Who? I think he said she'd been playing maybe a year, maybe two. <laughs> At 18s. She wasn't terrible. Who was injured on our team? Big old strong kid. Who was injured on our team? Yeah. I mean, are you talking about physical or mental? Physical. Um, the assistant coach. <laughs> so not every team had an injury. Oh, yeah. Yeah, every team had injuries. They were either down a man <laughs> because of injuries or just shorthanded because of selfish reasons. Wow. Yeah. So... Um, <laughs> No, I mean, I like we watched Skyline. So but Skyline, your, your problem with the tournament, this wasn't the tournament director's fault. Like this wasn't the tour putting courts next to a wall. Oh, no, this is 18s. This the, is just because it's 18. This is the 18s fault. Less everybody thinks we think everything's bad that happens in the Lone Star region. That's not what we're saying. No, no. Tournament was good. But it's just, it's not a, it's the same problem ABC had. It doesn't feel like a qualifier. It does not feel like a qualifier. It's anticlimactic. Oh my God. Kids are checked out. There's so injuries because the 18s are shoving 10 tournaments in three months. Right. That's my biggest complaint. Kids are quitting. Kids are, you know, doing yeah. all kinds. I mean, everything that could possibly go wrong is going wrong. And you, th- and our theory is. Yeah. Because crammed into a terrible schedule. Yeah. No, I strongly believe you're, they're doing way too much in too short of an amount of time. I yeah. mean, we have injuries in the rest of the group. And they have time to heal. You can, you know, right. Obviously, unless they're substantial injuries, but, or if they happen late in the season. But yeah, but yeah, I mean, like a, we watched Skyline play. You know, Leland is still out with a hyperextended elbow. Yeah, they have one setter. Mm-hmm. Annabelle Archer sprains her ankle, so she's out. Right. Their backup setter would be Kristen, but Kristen's not there. Right. So then, Lauren. Evans had to set, had to jump in and set. So one of their outsides is now having to set who she sets. I don't know if she set a lot in high school, but I know she set in high school. She didn't do a bad job. They won. They won matches with her setting. Which sure. Yeah. Incredible. Volleyball players are volleyball players, um, man. But yeah, I mean, they're missing. And, you know, I think they're missing another kid, too. They yeah. might have quit or left or something. You know, we watched Magic. Magic's missing. They're missing their starting mm. left side. Everybody. Everybody that we watch, I tell you this: everyone in our pools was missing kids, in the two pools that we were in, because they did end it's up having an epidemic. To play. Preach, w- waddle dob again. So hey, you can't weave things together if you're missing a strand. I know they did. They wove it against us. <laughs> <laughs> 
really did. But, you know, it was crazy. I mean, and the best match, you know, we watched Ocala Power play TAV. It was a good match. But Ocala Power, I mean, they had a kid sitting on the sideline, too, in street clothes. So, And they came from Florida to play. So there's just, I don't know. I'm just not a huge fan of the 18s qualifiers, no. 18s events. I don't mind. I You know, these other ones that are at actual qualifiers, like with the group, I bet they're fun. I bet they're fantastic. I bet everybody goes <laughs> out and watches. You know, these are, I mean, it's boring. So yeah, because it was it was sad. I mean, it's like a dreary. Yeah, I know. Like that's, everybody's I, crying. That's exactly how I felt last year. Parents are crying. Kids are crying, <laughs> and they're not even done playing yet. Like they're just crying to cry. Yeah, some of them were done <laughs> after like the second day they left. <laughs> after the first, on the way there, they're crying. Yeah, after the first day, I guess they left. Yeah. Boo hoo. Mm. Yeah. So. Yeah, but we qualified some teams there. So, yeah. Speaking adding, of which, to our list, yeah, uh, not including 18s teams, which we're waiting for the final list with all the trickle downs and at larges and everything. Um, but as of today, we have 18 non 18 year old teams qualified. It's pretty good. So yeah, it's not bad. North Texas region representing as usual. Uh, the bulk of the tournaments that we as a region usually go to are still coming up. So yeah, um, yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's um, interesting that some of these, like, Flyers 11s were at MEQ. Yeah. Like, that's interesting to me. Why? They're 11. <laughs> Dude, 11s is a division at Nationals, though. I know, but, I mean, I guess if you, yeah, don't play in Lone Star if it's, because it'll be chaos. Yeah, it's going to be intense. I, yeah, our younger, I mean, of those 18 teams, 13 of them are 15 and under. I mean, it's just, that's... Yeah crazy but it is what it is um so this is our what qualifier update we'll keep everybody updated on who's doing what right yeah we'll get a running list going um see if we can get to 100 teams this year we'll get to 100 teams i'd be sure i'd be very surprised if we didn't yeah i mean you got 18 now you got another 10 to 12 and 18s yeah. So we're going to be sitting right at 28 going into this weekend, 25 to 28, something like that. Yeah. You're going to get another. Um, oh, yeah. At regionals, we're going to get uh, four. four per uh, tw- 30, no, 25, Eight, 25 28. 28 yeah. yeah. Give or take. So, so that's, that's going to get, that's 50, 50 plus as yeah. of right now yeah. that we know we're going to get. 50 plus, yeah, 55. Yeah. And then at Lone Star, we know we're going to get all of them. Yeah, so the question is, are you going to get 45 other teams? And right now, I don't know. It'll be close. Yeah. But I think we will. I think Let's we'll go. get there. Let's go, NTR. 100 <laughs> teams. You can do it. Donate here. Yeah. The, what? I don't, I don't donate? Know. You can donate. Maybe you want to donate a donut. Chino would eat it for lunch. <sighs> I bet they have a cinnamon version of Donate Red a Bull. donut? Don't donate a donut. Donut, donut, the donuts. <laughs> oh, this, this donut. dummy doesn't want oh. you to donate a donut. What is that? Oh, hey, professional That's the buzzer. Punch. Nice. That's the buzzer, and here we go. <laughs> These are the teams that have qualified for the North Texas, North Texas region so far. That was a good list. Yeah, I like it. It's, it's, uh, it's now you can see. We'll update that weekly as the qualifiers go by. Uh, so you can go here because, you know, somebody's website should update weekly. <laughs> I know because the USA okay. Volleyballs is not. Oh, it doesn't? Mm, can't find North, information there? And the North Texas Regions does not. Oh, that's interesting. You would so, think they would do that. Um, this one will. We can do it. Yeah. Well, we'll do we'll do our, our level best. We will do better than the other two. That's true. The gauntlet has been thrown. <laughs> yeah, take that. Boom. Um. Well, so yeah, who's on the list? Let's go. Let's talk about it. Oh, you want to talk about it? Yeah. Well, I mean, it's, it's a little, just by looking at the list. There's a, there's, it's little, yeah, it's a little weird. I mean, it's, it's early and a lot of clubs haven't played in qualifiers yet. I'm like, I mean, I don't think a full, you know, 20% of the teams that are going to go play in qualifiers have played in one qualifier yet. So it's a little hard to, yeah, to make any assumptions based on what's going on. But I mean, TAV has five teams in what? TV yeah. has more teams than anybody. No, yeah. Shout out Tav. Yeah. Um, ironically, none of them younger than 15. 
So they haven't gotten their 14s, 13s, or 12s in yet. I wonder if they've got um, uh, their 14s in. Yeah, their 14s. Um, they'll, get it, they'll get it the next one. They, yeah, they will. Uh, the next, uh, interestingly enough, is Flyers. So Flyers has their four of their top five ranked teams are qualified. Uh, 111s, 212s, and uh, their 15s. They're both of their 12s qualified in the same division? Yeah. At different qualifiers, though. Yeah, they're going to have to beat each other to win the national championship. Yeah, true story. <laughs> um, Skyline's got a 12s team in. Teos has a 13s team in. Arate has a 14s team in. Mad Frog has one 15s team in. They won Spokane. Um, dropped one set the entire weekend. It's pretty good. Yeah, one bad. Um, should give a lot of hope to our a lot of teams in our region that have been been that, that team's good and a lot of our teams have been fighting them pretty hard so a lot of 15s looking to go qualify now i think i think we'll have a pretty good 15 showing this year yeah um and then ace has a 16s and image has a 17s um pistols has three teams in nice again they're three highest ranked teams they're 13s 14s and 15s are all in so there's your list, um, Flyers and Pistols being the only other club with multiples in besides TAV right now. So, White Girls from the North. Name that tune. Um, I'll take. I know Kevin Hanley would know it because he's. Don't a, learn your lesson <laughs> about putting your phone on silent after the first a, ring for two hundred dollars. No, that's my wife. It does. I can put it on silent and turn the phone off, and it will still ring. <laughs> I'm gonna she call you on that. Has the power? Yeah. Well, she definitely has that. The power of love. Yeah, she's got the power of something. Power of the leash. <laughs> he has it. Nope. Uh, all of it. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. Hope you like we'll grape. See. Let us know if you like that grape. Here we go. Check it out. Now we can.